Okay, everyone, in my last video, I showed you a meteorite crater in Arizona that is supposedly 55,000 years old, and I showed you how the crater is still there, but the big meteorite that landed there is just totally gone, totally gone. And I also went on to... Uh, let you know that if you Google or whatever you want to do to look for asteroids, they're all computer uh, generated images uh, by an artist. So anyways, what kept eating at me was a scripture from Genesis 7:11 in the 600th year of Noah's life in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up. And the windows of heaven were opened. Now pay attention closely. It says all the fountains of the great deep broken up. Great deep means the deep ocean. Broken up means to come upward. So anyways, as I went on the search, I realized that there were more supposedly meteorite craters all over the world in different continents all around roughly around the same size as you can see here in these pictures i i took a picture from each continent from every one of these uh supposedly meteorite craters but out of all these craters there's nothing left of the meteor that landed there and i say that in quote supposedly landed there there's nothing left of the meteorite but all the craters are still there so i went to investigate a little more and i had remembered researching geysers many many years ago now here's a few images of what geysers look like but the images i'm showing you are what the geysers look like when they're actually erupting so check this out now there's does these craters underneath these guys just not look familiar to you? Just take a really, really close look. Now I'm showing you the, the ones that are erupting. Now let's take a look at the ones that are not erupting. Okay, now let's compare the so-called meteorite craters with the geyser craters. Get ready, you guys are totally going to be blown away. Now check this out. As you can see here, there's a runoff on the meteor crater and a runoff on the geyser. Now look at here, right in the middle, you see where the geyser actually comes up? You can see it in the meteor crater and the geyser that's where the water comes up at same thing here everything around it is just where the water pressure coming up explodes everything outward and here if you look to the right of the crater and the right of the geyser they're shaped identical that's water pressure not a meteorite and no, it's not fallen angels. No, it's not ancient trees pulled up. It's simply the original geysers that God opened up and flooded the earth with. People, common sense. All you got to do is look at it. Now, you notice here in this meteor crater how the earth has upturned edge around the circle of the crater. Now, here's how that happens. Here is a photo of a geyser actually fixing to erupt. Notice how it upturns the edge of the hole around it. Now once again, if we look in Genesis 7:11, towards the end of the scripture, it says, All of the fountains of the great deep broken up. The scripture tells us exactly what these are and exactly what God did to flood the earth. And it also says and the windows of heaven were open. So we also know that there's a firmament and it has windows in it. And he also flooded it from above as he did below. 
Now, this is where your inner wisdom should kick in. Science tells you that these are so-called meteor craters, okay? But there's no meteors in none of them all over, all over the world. There's no meteors found nowhere near or around or in the crater itself. But yet these craters are identical to geyser craters. That's because these so-called meteor craters are the giant craters that opened up from the deep the great deep and flooded the earth the bible is real it is very accurate and the flood of noah happened and i just showed you how it happened and the funny thing about it is they even showed you in the 2014 movie noah check it out Protect your mother. Protect them all. 